Welcome YouTube. Happy New Year's. It is January 1st of 2019 and as it is New Year's Day, um, a time of new resolutions, new beginnings, and new starts, I hope that this year is all of that for me and more. By the year 2020, I would like to be a professional artist making money off of my work. Right now, however, I am still very much a beginner artist. The reason why I would classify myself as a beginner artist as opposed to an intermediate one would be the fact that I still make basic fundamental mistakes and that really holds me back in a lot of ways. So 2019 is going to be building the steps and the habits and the skills that are going to get me to my ultimate goal. So not only am I going to focus on art, though that is going to be my main focus, um, I'm also going to focus on my business skills, my social media skills, as well as some just general life skills. Uh, balance. I'm going to work on life balance. So how am I going to get started on this endeavor? I'm going to get started step by step and from the fundamentals. As it is New Year's Eve, a time when many people are starting new resolutions, um, a fitness one would be a great example. Um, a lot of people, when they start a new fitness regimen, <laughs> they go full tilt. They go out and buy a fancy gym membership. And to go with that fancy membership, they buy fancy running shoes and gym shorts and cute little outfits. And then they decide that, you know what? I can run an hour a day. And I'm going to do it every day because I want to get fit fast, right? Um, if I'm going to do this, I'm not going to do it halfway. So they get to the gym and they might run their full hour on the first day. But guess what? Afterwards, they are sore, they're tired, and it's not fun. But they're not quitters, right? So they're going to go the next day and they're going to do that same thing. And guess what? They hurt worse the second day than the first day. And they might continue going to the gym and getting on that treadmill for a week, maybe even two or three weeks. But eventually some distraction is going to come up, um, maybe some crisis. And they're going to maybe just something that's more fun. And they're going to embrace those distractions because their new fitness regimen isn't fun and it hurts. And... Um, on the person next to them, there might be a person who runs an hour a day. They get on that treadmill and they run. But that person probably started off, or might have, I don't know, probably, might have started off walking and um, started building up their m muscles and their cardiovascular system. And after they were walking, they started learning how to run and they started building the skill and the technique involved in running. I don't run personally very much at all, let's be honest. Um, so I don't know what those skills and techniques are, but I do know that they're required, right? They're the basics. So they come to the gym three times a week and sometimes going to the gym might feel like a chore, but most of the time it's fun for them and it doesn't hurt or it isn't miserable. It's something that they enjoy and look forward to. And I want to be that second person who sits down and still loves art and still enjoys it and finds something new every time that I do it. Um, so how am I going to get there? I am going to get there from the fundamentals and from the basics. I have narrowed down three areas in which I struggle and all right I've narrowed down three areas that I need the most work the first the first area that I need the most work on would be line control and how am I going to do that well I'm going to be doing that um, by mining YouTube for practice exercises there are a ton of them and when I start actually doing that and showing you some of my work, I will definitely make sure that I link the videos that I'm getting the 
um, practice techniques from so that you'll have those as well um, from the real experts. The next area that I need the most work on would be color theory. <laughs> that is definitely something that I am less skilled in, so it takes more mental faculties for me to do. So I'm going to start small. Um, I plan on doing only three paintings a week, even if I get really excited. I'm going to stick with three for now. Um, and I have made sure that that is something feasible for the last week I've tried that to make sure that that is something that's challenging for me, but not overly taxing. Um, these two guys right here, and there's another one above him that you can't see very well, um, are the fruits of that endeavor. And I think that's a very good place to start. And I'll also be doing some practice exercises with color theory as well, such as color wheels and um, gradation um, practice and things like that as well. So you'll be able to see some of that. Um, the third area that I need to work on would be anatomy. Now, the easiest way that I think for me to work on that would just be to copy what other people are doing. So you're probably not going to see much of that on my channel because I'm going to be plagiarizing the hell out of it, um, at least at the beginning. I will probably mix in some just life drawing, um, going to the cafes and watching people and drawing. So you might see some of that, but for the most part, that's probably going to be off screen just because I don't want to um, plagiarize like crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, I want to keep my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Um, but all in all, 2019 is going to be a journey for me, uh, and I hope you and I hope that together we can get to where we want to be.